Okay, now uh, here we are once again going to design this A logo. So we're going to start out with uh, in the object manager. We're going to go ahead and create another layer and we will call this layer lines. And uh, the bottom layer, we're going to go ahead and um, kind of lock that by clicking on this pin up here. That way we can still see it, but we can't affect it. I'm going to go ahead and um, get started. I'm going to, before I do anything else, once again, I'm going to change the color of my pin. So that way, right now, if I was to go to draw anything, which uh, this is my favorite, when you draw, it's automatically going to be black. But I don't want that because we're going to have a, um, we're, we're working with black here, so we need red to be able to see. So before I do anything now, with nothing selected, if I go and change my pin color, everything that I draw now is going to be in red. And so let's get started. We'll start with getting the A drawn real quick. It's fairly straightforward, straight lines. And what I like to do, just to make sure that everything is nice and even, I'll bring down an additional uh, guideline that you can bring as, as many guidelines as you like, horizontally or vertically. It's up to you. And so I use those when I want to keep my lines really straight. I make sure that my, up here in view, that my click uh, snap to guidelines is selected. Therefore, when I go in here, I go up to Tool Shape Manager and I select this, I can snap to the lines so that I have a perfectly straight line. And if you really want to be accurate, you can bring them uh, in the horizontal lines as well, I mean the vertical lines as well, to make sure that everything is really nice and even. You can never use too many lines, like guidelines, I say. Guidelines are your best friends when you want things that are perfectly symmetrical. And that way, it snaps right to that corner right there. So it's really easy to get things perfect this way. As you can see, when when you snap these into place here, you'll see the word intersection pop up. And that's when you know you have the perfect snap. This one is not quite there. Node and then intersection. And so we have nice even lines here. And I'll go ahead and bring this over just a little bit. And uh, so we're pretty much good to go with our A. And now we will um, get the rest of our lines. I will draw another line starting right here. And again, when you snap into place, it'll say node. 
you know, we have a nice closed line. Okay, you know. Okay, so now um, we're going to go ahead and, and get these other lines drawn in here. They're still in red. I'm going to take my curve and I'm going to and now I'm going to go ahead and take this node and oops I need to be in shape tool right click get a curve get rid of it that way I have ability to bend it just a little bit well, maybe I'll put that node back that way I would manipulate it with, with my little arrow tools let's get a slight arch in there I come in here and get those as well then I'll get rid of it and now that I have that one made I can just uh, it's selected I can just grab it with the control key and just drag it. it goes over and then control D and I have another one so it looks good to me and we're gonna do the same over here Easier tool. I'm going to click, kind of follow this design. Effortless smooth line if I can. I'm going to go back to my shape tool. I want to select those nodes. And I'm going to right click and make them all curves. Now, all with all these selected, I'm just going to double click to get rid of them all at the same time. And then I have the ability to manipulate it just by the ends right here. I kind of have a snake kind of thing going on right here. And uh, that looks pretty good to me right in the middle. And then again, we're going to do the same. We're going to just grab it while holding control, drag it over. and control D it one more time and we have those lines in place okay now uh, we pretty much have all the lines that we're going to use okay so now we have to make a couple adjustments to our our vector lines so that we can make sure that this works for us the way we want it to so we're going to section off we're going to add some nodules here, we're going to section off these areas just to make sure they work in the way that we want them to so we, we put nodules right there and right there in those four areas we're going to come to the same over here Nodules, nodes, <laughs> and we're gonna do the same here. Now we're ready to do what we really need to do to make this effect work correctly. We are going to right click here. We're gonna break it apart. We're gonna right click here, and we're gonna break it apart then we're going to do the same for this one and we're going to do the same for all the rest of those this one as a matter of fact we can do a double selection if we like break those apart Double selection on that one and break those apart. Now, this is breaking a node. 
it doesn't really want to, it's not, it's still really together in a funny sort of way. It's hard to explain, but I'm going to show you what I mean. So you must first break apart the node, then you can break apart the line or the vector, and then you can pull it apart completely. We still have to go up to a range, and then we, we can break it apart here, or we can, we can break it apart right here. And so we'll just... This is breaking apart a line or a vector that are really broken apart and delete those now. I'm just moving them away. And I have the pieces away that I really don't want. I'm going to select them and delete them. And then it's very easy to reselect them. Right click it and auto close. It gives me a nice closed uh, and once again. And this one we definitely can do auto, uh, auto close. And so we have all these different closed areas. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to this line, this vector line itself is actually 0.5 is the size of it. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to make it a little thicker to fit our pattern here. I'm going to make it looks like it's about four. Four looks good. And we can really see how well things are coming together. Okay. And um, now that I have that, I'm going to I'm going to do something that makes it easier for me. I could just I could just duplicate these and make them bigger. Or I could use this tool over here called Contour, which allows me to take this line that I'm using, and I'm going to go up two steps. And so that's three. I'm going to go up two. I want all my colors to be the same. Well, I'm going to make them all black eventually. So you can see the space in between them. It's not quite enough. So you can control the distance. 2.6, I think 2.7 might do it. It looks good. 2.7 gives us that nice, perfectly offset look that we're looking for. And then, um, what we're going to do is we're going to select these as well. And those were four as well. So I guess we could do a multi-selection. Won't let us do it. It wants us to do it one at a time. With this we could not do the contour because it's not a complete piece. Contours mainly work you have a closed vector. And so that's okay. Because um, we could do it this way as well. And so now we pretty much have everything we want. Last uh, piece that we have to fill here. Now, sometimes when you have pieces like this, it's good to make sure you get a nice solid closed line. So if we were to take this one right here, or I'll make this line right here and go ahead and just say um, well we have to be in the shape tool and if we go ahead and auto close it will go ahead and close 
this off completely and this line we'll just get rid of it this excess line we'll just get rid of that one and then we can reselect this and we'll just go ahead and let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and just do this ourselves this way we know we have a nice what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to get rid of the fill so I can see what I'm doing. And right now, this snap to objects is kind of disturbing me, so I'm going to turn that off. And that way I can move a little freer. A little freer. And so, I'm going to adjust this a little bit more. My favorite little arrow keys. So we have this part, and we're going to go ahead and refill that. So this is pretty much the basic uh, outline of the piece. Except now we are going to turn everything, we're going to turn off bottom layer they were going to well we'll do it one at a time with our selections um, our letters we can go ahead and our lines okay there we can do it down here as well Or we can just F F12 because that's the same result. F12. F12. Touch the hit these and F12, same with these. And with these, we'll change the color up here because those are contours. And then with these, these are fills, so we can just click fill on these. I have to keep clicking the wrong one. I'm going to click this. And I want to click this one only. Of course, the outlines we will make black on this. F12. F12. F12 once again. And we have everything except one last piece of the puzzle. Okay, now this is pretty much the look of the logo, except there is, if we take a look at the actual logo, you can see that it has these openings right here. It gives that nice look of everything being separated. So if we wanted to, we could try to go back and separate things but we're not going to do that we're going to do something that has a better effect and it's a little easier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this piece down here and first of all I'm going to um, get rid of the filler I'm going to go up now and make the lines about three points for a nice thick line. And now, this way, maybe we'll go four. Let's see what four looks like. Okay, we'll do four. What the heck? Now, with four, we can go and 
go to contour once again this is a lovely uh, tool here and we are going to we are going to give it one going out and uh, we're going to make sure that let's see let's make it blue to make sure we can see it okay it's blue right there so we're going to make this contour white that way if we make it white you really can't see it here however we are going to do the same over here we're going to come back and we're going to select this this curve and we're going to make it hollow. We're going to take it up to four points. We're going to give it a contour. And the contour is white already. And so there's a white circle going around it. But you really can't see the effect of what we've done because it is beneath. On the layer over here, we want this, which is above these contours to be below it. So we're going to take this and we're going to drag it over which now you can see the effect of the white layer going around it. And I guess this one over here I didn't quite give it the layer yet so we're going to put that into effect. I'm going to give it is that one. There we go. And that one needs to also be dragged above at a higher level. That way we can see it as well. And now, once we put our fill back in, we'll go back up here, put our black fill back in, and we'll do the same for this one. We now have our A with the nice outline around it and so now we have our new logo beautiful and ready to go you have a nice day bye